everybody. Um, we are live from Shrewsbury Prison, the Dana. Um, it's my, I think, third time uh, doing a ghost hunt here. Rob? Never. It's your first time first time here as well. Yeah. So, um, hi, Gail. Good to hi. see you. Um, so, we're going to just do a really quick uh, walk around to introduce you to the location before we let our guests in. Um, we're not going to go too far because um, we'll probably get lost. Um, so <laughs> 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 but we're we're going to have a little look around and see what we can find. Um, so, we're going to go into the darkness now. This is our base room. Uh, for tonight, as you can see, all set up and ready for the guests. We are here. Um, I'm Cassandra Raven. Here we are, Dust Till Dawn events. If you would like to book one of the events with Dust Till Dawn, you can visit dusttilldawnevents.co.uk and book yourself onto one of these amazing ghost hunting events um, at some of these incredible locations that we go to. So we visit all kinds of places. We go to prisons, obviously, as we are now. Um, mansions, castles, tunnels, um, you name it, we go there. Um, and we would love to see you on one of the events coming up. Hi, Kate, great to see you. Right, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can get a, a view of where we're going. Right, okay, let's start walking. I think we're still online. Hi, Linda. I pressed the button, but nothing's happening. I think we're frozen. Hang on. We'll keep going, because it should. Oh, that's it. Oh, wait, oh, you're back in Sorry time. about that. Which way should we go? Uh, let's go this way. Right, hang on. Okay, before we go <clears throat> too far into the darkness, I'm going to attempt to turn this camera around again. There we go. Okay. Super. Okay, so Shrewsbury Prison, the Dana. This is where we are. Hi, Greg. Hi, Joanne. Good to see you. Is that a random TV? Uh, what have we got? Okay, so this is the chapel. I'm kind of following your torchlight there, uh, Jenny, because yours is much better than mine. Um, so, um, so interesting that this, this building actually looks kind of modern-ish you know on the inside. It smells like a chapel. Yeah. Do you know how it does smell like a chapel, does. doesn't it? Actually, that's odd. It, it does. It almost smells of wood, actually. There's a little bit of wood over there, but it smells really sort of musty and churchy, churchy doesn't it? Like, yeah. yeah, definitely churchy. Mm. You can feel the difference, though, in the atmosphere as you change as you go through. the rooms. You can feel it's the difference. You certainly the can, yeah. Hi, Jordan. Nice to see you. Thank you. We'll have the best light that we possibly can, of course. Hi, Lisa. Good to see you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let us know what you guys are picking up on. Um, I think we can go in here, can't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's locked. Oh, hang on. Ring bell for entry. Read the sign. Somebody else it. Okay, so we're obviously not going in there for a minute. It's a sports hall, is it? I'm sure we went in there last time. Let's see if I can get you guys to have a little... Oh, maybe not. Can you see in there, guys? Okay, right, so you folks watching, let us know where you're from. Let's go upstairs. Um, and let us know what you can sense at this location as well, whether you've been here before, um, whether you've booked an event here and you're looking forward to coming here. It would be good to hear from you too. Um, so we're just working our way up the stairs. This is where we're starting to think, yeah, we're going to get lost. Yeah, yeah. As we do this. <laughs> what have we got then? Ooh, okay. Ah, excellent, right. Hi, Kay. Good to see you. Excellent. Okay, we've got a um, couple of gentlemen coming forward at the minute. Let's just show you guys this. Little passage coming yeah. through. Okay, so we've got a definite change of energy here that we're all picking up on as we come through. Yeah, got goosebumps. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like really in my throat oh and in my, my chest. Where's he done that? Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hi, Craig. Hi, Craig. Right. Okay, let's turn this guy around so you can see us. Right, so. Um, Oh, hang on. Let me move my hand. Sorry, guys. There we go. There we are. There we are. <laughs> we are here. Um, so, just wanted to let you guys know um, that we've we've sensed a very strong energy coming up yeah. here. Um, I've got two gentlemen that are that are coming forward straight away, wanting to make their presence known. Very pushy um, mm -hmm. gentlemen. It's an interesting thing at locations like this that you get. 
<laughs> Bob's giggling in the background. No, I'm good. Um, Obviously, this, this is a prison, and it, it was a working prison for a very long time. Um, and what I get with this, and it's a phrase I use quite often, is layers of time. So layers of time are at this location. So before the prison that you can see here now, um, I, I feel that, you know, in times before that, before this building was even here, um, it, it seems to have been a, a long-standing place for justice to have been Justice to have been dealt out, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> to say that way. Um, there's two gentlemen here that are being very pushy and very. It's quite heavy. It's a heavy atmosphere. Yeah, um, yeah it's not. It's not it's too not nice. pleasant here. It's not very nice at all. Right, no. let's go forwards again so you guys can see where we're going. <sighs> Kay says she's got pressure on the sides of her head and feels like she's suffocating. Hi, Abby. Nice to see you. Thank you very much for watching. Hi, Nath. The boss is watching. We'd better Hello. be good. Hi, Nath. <laughs> okay. All right. Where are we going now? Let's have a little look. Let's come down here. Oh, through the door. Okay. There we go. All right. Come downstairs. It's a bit lighter down here. There's lights on for some reason. Have we just done a circle then? Okay. <laughs> there we go, right. Yeah, let's go the other way. Let's go the other way then. Okay, so again, this is our base room for the evening. So, just to recap, while we've got some, uh, well, we've very briefly got some light on us, uh, we are here. It's Dusk Till Dawn events. If you would like to book on to one of the ghost hunt events that we're doing, um, then you can visit dusktilldawnevents.co.uk and join us as we visit some of these very haunted, active, spooky locations that we go to. Um, oh, we're just going outside. Oh, hang on. There we go. Let's see where I'm going. Right. Okay, so we're, we're in the courtyard. It's... You can't see much because it's really dark. Let's just keep going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Hi, Lisa. Nice to see you online. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, it does. It does actually. Okay, so any idea where we are, guys? What's this bit called? This is the A wing. This is A wing. Okay, right. I'll watch that thing on the floor then. Okay. They have got door numbers, yeah. Okay, so we have. Um, an area above us, the old suicide net thingy there. Um, watch the stage. Watch the stage. Watch the stage. And then there's a. I'm just not going to fall off the end of that. <laughs> if I remember rightly, I think there's some. Some of these cells have got uh, dummies in them, have they? Yeah. yeah okay. Just be a bit. Yeah, for the atmosphere is really very strong, heavy yeah. here. Yeah, it is. It's changed since we came here earlier. But so. apparently, that's where, you know that stage that you was on? Yeah. They had live bands in here. Right, not the sort of place I'd want my wedding reception, but there you go. <laughs> Where's Mr. It's hard to imagine. Mm. You can just imagine it, can't you? It's just awful. Yeah. Just awful. The cells are absolutely tiny. Um, and they've That's the kitchen. currently got two beds in each cell, I think. This is, the, this is the one with the mannequins that have bunk beds in it. Where is it? Oh, crikey. Okay, there we go. Right, let's have a little look in here then for you guys. Uh, yuck, it's like somebody's still here. I can hear a bell ringing. Yeah, that's it. You'd have to. These are some of the original beds. Well, no, they said you could like that. Yeah. The original bed's in the next one, isn't it? Next yeah, one along, I think, is. Yeah. But they said that there was up to four people in some cells. Okay, right. Gail is saying she's picking up on a scared person that used to cower from other people as if someone was violated by two nasty ones. Oh, 
that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. It feels very much, very frightening. Um, hi, Claire. Thank you for watching. Um, I think also with, with this kind of location, the things that, the, the kind of residual energy that you pick up on is really interesting <laughs> too, of people just feeling so, you know, scared, apart from anything else. I think, you know, when you look past all the bravado of the... Yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of this fear. Is the pad itself for the people that were on okay. suicide watch, basically. Right, okay. Um, that's a it's very basic. Yes, <laughs> this is this is a bed that's actually built into the structure of the room, so obviously that couldn't be, and that, I suppose that's a toilet, is it? So those things couldn't be used um, in any way as a, to harm themselves, I suppose, or anybody else for that matter. Um, and that's a room with a double sort of airlock system, if you like, so obviously you'd shut this first door. Then you'd be in this first little chamber, um, and then there's a the second door there. Oh, I don't like that at all. No, I don't like that. This feels different in here. Oh my life. Okay. Can you get a difference? Yeah, definitely. It's like jaw hurting in here, like head ash and jaw hurting. That's horrible. Do you know, there's, there's a guy in here who's coming through really, really strongly. He's, He's quite short, but he's a bit shorter than you. Mm -hmm. Sort of up to up to your sort of your nose, really, yeah. bottom of your nose. Um, <laughs> he's he's talking about um, violence within the building, so violence within the actual um, within the actual prison itself. Um, yeah. It's very nice, isn't it? I know it's a prison. Well, it's very sick, vastly dark. They can't harm themselves on things like this, can they? So. Yeah, he's he's called Roger. Roger. Um, and he's referring to being from Barnet in North London. Um, so how he ended up here, I don't know, but. Um, and he is talking about the, the jaw, the displacement of the jaw. I think that was within in a fight or oh, something. No. It feels like it's yeah, left hand side. Really been cracked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's coming through quite strongly. Right. Just feel really weird. Just feel very weird. Thanks, May. We'll have a good night. Hi, Victoria. Thank you for watching. Good to see you. What was Rieka being there? May burst into song then. <laughs> What else have we got? This is another room. There's shower rooms, there's different rooms. Okay. There's a shower room. Yeah, it's not down the shower room. That one feels quite strong. Can you feel the pressure coming off that? Oh, crikey, yeah. Can you feel it? Definitely. Can you feel it? Definitely. Quite Make a note of that. Yeah. That's number 40. 40. Ooh. Ooh. There's a lot of um, residual energy of just a uh, load of noise, loads like it's gone out of control kind of noise. And we was told that this is where the bar was, wasn't it? Yeah. Can't go in the bar apparently, but this is where they were. Okay. So I friends. So I suppose this is that they have events here, um, and that's why some of it is. That's why there's a stage, and that's why there's a. Okay. Okay, says it feels very chaotic. Yes, it does. Like rioting, yeah, it certainly does. Ah, oh, right, okay. Yeah, I think I remember that. I'm trying to get my. I'm trying to get my going. Right, okay. How are we doing for time? Do we need to? We're fine. We're fine, okay. Okay, right, that's good then, okay, let's keep going. Okay. Oh, I've not been in here before. Oh! Oh, dear, okay. Oh, God. Oh. Rob's just refused to go in the shower. 
Um, there is a shower in there. I don't think I'll go in there. Strong. I don't really want to go in there. I don't know if it's the smell or... Yeah, I think it just, I think yeah. it just was was closing really slowly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's random. Just a room. Oh, whites. That's where they kept the whites stored. Okay. Right. Um, where's the women's prison then? I know there's an old women's prison here somewhere. The old Victorian bit. Oh, oh bloody hell. God. <laughs> That's that door, don't panic. <laughs> yeah, let's go upstairs. Actually, if we go, I think that's towards the hanging room, isn't it? Do you go that way for it? Upstairs? Yeah, go upstairs. I'm not sure if it's this, oh, it might not be this bit actually. I know you have to go upstairs to it, I'm not sure if it's this. Yeah, literally. So in case you need to jump off, that comes up. It will do that way. Oh no, I think it's, it's the um. If we could find the the other wing, which I think you need to go outside. Yeah, I think it's back outside. You know, I think it's back outside, and then you go upstairs there, and then yeah. you go along to the to the hanging room. So if we could find that, that would be good. But we've got three floors here, haven't we? Two. Ground floor and then two upper floors. Look at this, guys. Are you guys watching? If you haven't been here, the, the, it's interesting to get a sense of the scale. There's another two, two floors above me, just there. There's the floor that we're on, um, and then the floor below where we've just come from. So I suppose we've got one, two, three, four levels here, really. So it's quite vast, this particular part of the prison. So we are in Shrewsbury Prison, in case you've just tuned in. Craig, got a real sense of dread by those showers. Yeah, I think that's why Rob didn't go in there. Yeah, <laughs> sense of dread. Oh, it's just not very pleasant at all. Right. Oh, that's the original book then, isn't it? Yeah. 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 In the middle of the room. <laughs> oh. Right. Okay, let's keep going. Quite weird. I've never been to a place that I've wanted to sort of stand with people. <laughs> Quite a strange feeling being in here. As soon as you walk through, it is. Yeah. There's certainly a lot of residual energy as well as spirit energy here. Mm -hmm. Right, let's go back down then. Oh, just walked through a really weird bit of air then. There's pockets of. Um, Pockets of what we refer to as residual energy, which is energy that's left over from an event um, or a situation, high emotions, that sort of thing. Like riots, sort of thing. Like, yeah, or just a fight or just an argument or whatever, any sort of high yeah. emotion situation. Um, <laughs> hang on. Uh, I think it's is it to your left. Is there a door there? I think it's there. I think that's it. Is that right? Oh, no, that's not it then. Oh, God, I'm so disoriented. This isn't it, but anyway, let's keep going. Oh, we're back to the Are we? Yeah, we are, aren't we? Huh? That's so weird. Right, we're back to the right, Let's go back out. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Right, hang on. Let me try and get my bearings. Right, so that's where we've been. Watch this stuff on the floor, guys. That's all... We're not going in there, because that's all the new bit. That's the railway track thingy. So is it over here, then? I'm really confused. Is it this bit? I've been here twice, and I'm still confused and lost. Not in there. Oh, it's got to be this way, innit? Here we go, this'll be it. Probably, maybe. Rob's gone in the kitchen. Rob's a chef by trade, oh, so he feels at home now. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's go 
Oh, that's the man oh again. God. Hang on. Wait, wait. Come with me. Come with me. This is it. Here we go. Oh, sorry about that. I'm a sea wing. People watching. Um. I'm just listening. I don't know if it might have been a bug. I think white. Okay. There are a few bugs. Is this where we're going? God, how creepy is this? Okay, right. Hi, Wendy. Nice to see you. Thank you so much for watching. Um, case, yeah, I think this is it. Right, last time I was here, we did some table chipping in this room. Oh, I can't get in. Oh, he's locked it. Oh. Yes. Ask. And the door will be opened. Okay, so this is where I did my vigils last time. And this, this room, um, I was picking up on a lot of f female energy here that goes right back to sort of Victorian and pre-Victorian times. So it's very interesting here. If we go upstairs here, we can go into the hanging room. Um, so what we've got here um, are two levels. We've got ground floor level here, cells going all the way across, and um, an upper level of cells just up there. Hi James, thank you for watching. Hi Greg, nice to see you. Thank you so much for watching. Right, so we're going to head up these stairs and go on into the like hanging room. Okay, so I'm going to turn that around so you guys can see behind us. As we go up the stairs. Oh, right. That's the healthcare one. Hanging room. Hanging room. Hooray. Yeah. No, normal people wouldn't be so pleased to hear about that. But there we go. Right. Okay, here we go. That's more of a dog. What's that there? Okay guys, so all you people that are watching, let us know any, anything that you might be sensing, anything that you might be picking up on in here. This is probably one of the most intense parts of the location that we're at tonight. This is the room where people um, would have been hung up, hanged up. This is the execute room then. Yeah. This yeah, I suppose it's that idea of bodies, you know. Yeah. So, um, for you folks watching, the floor here would have had um, a trapdoor somewhere below us. I'm not even sure if it's. Yeah, it does it like? That does it like a little bit of a seam, doesn't it? Yeah. There's a picture on the wall there of where. Oh, there we go. Okay, right. So, this is what would have what this room um, would have looked like. So as recently as when, I don't know. I don't really want to look at the details. I don't want to pick too much up in terms of details, but um, I think the 1950s, am I right in saying? Yes. 1950s sort of would, be, would have been the most recent um, hangings that would have occurred um, here. So very, very interesting. So you would have dropped into the room below um, and in the room below there would have been a gentleman waiting um, waiting for your body to drop into that room and I believe then he there was a, a period of time where he would make sure that you were dead um, and I believe that after that you would be buried on the premises am I right in an unmarked yes. grave do you know where no I don't know where um, can you bank to the bank room yeah. to the bank room mm. The guy said there was been people buried previously in the prison before. Underneath there. When there was life, that would mean life to be buried on the entrance. Right, okay, wow. And then if, if it was a life then day, the family could have the body back? Yeah. Um, I get that there's lots more than is recorded here in terms of people that have been executed. Um, I, I actually pick up that the executions going back much further than um, the 1950s, 1940s, 1930s. Um, it, it, it's often the way with these types of locations that 
the land that, that you find these sort of locations on has been used for the same purpose for, for hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, and I get that there's quite a strong um, energy from, from way back. So going back further than these, I'm, I'm purposely avoiding looking at the signs because I don't want to take any information in. Um, we're on an investigation tonight, so the, the two guys that are with me, um, Rob and Jenny, are the hosts for tonight. Um, and it's my job to talk to the spirits that are here tonight for the guests um, and help the guests talk with the spirits as well. So I don't really want to pick up any information that's going to oh, this lady here. Um, any information that's going to affect that through the night. That's it. Yeah. Don't you have to the execution room? Mm -hmm. You also get poisoned and electrocuted. Going further back, no, I don't get electrocuted. I get okay. I get other types of other types of execution, but going further back, okay. I I don't get poisoned in there, but um, or electrocuted, sorry, okay. but it wouldn't surprise me if there were other methods going it's further back. Sort of it feels like further back yeah. than this. You know that what you can see is yeah. slightly different as I see it in their time, if that makes sense. So yeah. it's not it's not quite the same. Um, there's a lady along here. I, I've got. Um, yeah, she's a very, very strong energy. This lady down here. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can have a look. Lisa's picking up on uh, witches as well. So absolutely, people could have been um, uh, taken to account. Is the phrase that I'm getting um, for for witchcraft? I suppose back back in. Previous times. Um, hi, Rachel. Good to see you. Thank you for joining us. So this is the only part of the location that I pick up on the energy of females um, so far. Not to say that that won't happen um, at, at a different point through the night. We don't know. Um, but here, the, the, fe the female energy is coming through really quite strongly here. Um, and the lady... I've got two ladies up on this particular... Um, yeah, up on this particular there's one one that's quite close to us and one that's further down. So hopefully they'll they'll talk to us later as well in our vigils. Um there's a deep, deep feeling of sadness here. And uh, and one of the ladies is talking about having her children taken away from her. Um so whether she you know, whether they were they were taken to a, a different facility or, or rehomed or, or what I don't know. Um, but she's talking about being separated from her very young children, so it's extremely sad. So with these locations, obviously, we get a mix of emotions coming through. Um, and very often, you know, there's a lot of sort of bravado and anger and, you know, um, a lot of sort of testosterone fueled kind of energy in, in a male prison, of course. Um, but there's a lot of fear as well. There's a lot of, there's a lot of people who are away from home, missing home, missing their family, frightened. Um, so you've got to look at it from that point yeah. as well. Wow. <laughs> I'm excited to hear that. <laughs> Suddenly there was light. I've been down here. Well, I've never been here. This is the part where we're supposed to go, I don't know. Okay. Wendy, I think, uh, I think that was a, a woman's wing that we were in. Just catching up with some of the comments here. Uh, Lee, hi, Lee, great to see you watching, that's fab. Sorry, just catching up with what you guys are saying. Nathan has put a little comment on with a link to Dust Till Dawn Events .co .uk where you can book some more um, ghost hunting locations such as this one and many others. Um, I don't know where we are now. Where's it? Don't know. Oh, right. I can turn the camera around so you guys can see. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I'm making some really weird noises. There. This isn't the same as where we are. This is different. I don't know what this, this new container. Well, that will be good for trigger objects, I suppose. A bit later on, see if we can get some of those moving. Oh, crikey, Bob. I was even you do it. I know. <laughs> If you heard that noise then, can you make a noise for us now? Come on. 
Mummy, me, you no know harm. We just want to know you're with us. So could you make a noise for us if you can? Thank you, Famishu. Could you do that again for us? Hear movement upstairs. Movement. I just heard a voice. Did you hear a voice? Yeah. Can the person who just spoke to us, can you speak again, please? It sounded like a clock, and then there was like a creaking or... The creaking came Did you guys hear that? I'm sure that was coming here. It sounded really close by, did that? It was like a, yeah, it was like a, a pinging of a clock. Yeah. Is it outside or is it here? Can you make a noise for us? Can you copy this? Can we hear your voice again, please? Can you tap for us? Did you hear that? What's that? It was like a... I heard that as well. Was it outside though? Was it... Yeah, that was that same noise again, wasn't it? Yeah. Hello? Is anybody here with us that can let us know they're here? Can you maybe close one of these doors for us? Would you hear son? Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that. I can definitely hear voices. Yeah, yeah. I can hear voices. There's voice. definite it voices. Like and it's it doesn't sound like women there to me. It, it sounds like men. men. Yeah. It does, it sounds it's like men. Voice. Yeah. And again, did you hear that? that? Oh, I thought it was that one. No, no, it sounds like it's over there, it's all around us. I mean you're no harm, do you want to come forward and communicate with us? That's Did you hear that? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Move closer to us please. Can we hear your footsteps again? I think there's a few on the door mm. coming closer. I've got a gentleman to my right. And I think he's the one that did that footstep just now. I'm getting the usual feeling that I usually get like tingling inside of my head when mm -hmm. I'm getting close by. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Right, go ahead. Let's make our way back and let the guests yeah, in. Yeah, we're going to get back on. Okay. okay. No idea. Right. This way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've just had a, a nice bit of um, paranormal activity going on there. We've heard footsteps very close to us. We've heard voices very close to us. There's another floor, isn't there? 
There's another two floors above. Um, walking through fields of energy as well. You, you suddenly pick up on a different smell or um, a different feeling. There's loads of pockets of energy around as well as the spirits that are here. Very heavy energy here, isn't it? I yeah, feel yeah. quite... Um, you feel it as you just Yeah, yeah. It's all the emotion and, and everything as well. Obviously, we've just been to the hanging room. Um, if you've just joined us, uh, we are at Shrewsbury Prison at the Dana Dusk Till Dawn events. We're just about to let our guests in, if we can find our way out. I'm going to let our guests in to start the event tonight. We will be here until 3.30 in the morning. Am I right, Rob? Okay. Oh, thank you. Craig says definitely a male laughing. Yeah, I would agree with that. It certainly, um, certainly did seem like a male voice there having a bit of a giggle at us having a laugh at our expense no doubt trying to figure out where I am hang on okay okay back through oh there we go Wendy, I would love you to come and join us. It'll be great. It would be fantastic to have you on one of the events. So here we are, coming through the building again. Um, <laughs> all looks the same. <laughs> I tell you what, I would. This is one of those locations that I would hate to be in abject fear and running and just not getting anywhere. You know what I mean? Just not being able to get out. <laughs> I hope none of our guests get scared tonight. Oh, maybe just a little bit. Just a little bit, but not too much. Definitely. There we go. All right, coming back through. I think I'm going to find my way back there again. In a hurry. Right. No, surely not. Ah, back in the base room. Yay, light. Okay, so let's wrap up um, with our friends that are watching. So while while um, Rob's, Rob and Jenny are sorting out the, uh, the guest list there. So Lisa, you've got a horrible feeling. I think there's a lot of, um, a lot of negative energy here. Um, so we're going to be we're going to be especially careful tonight. And make sure our guests are okay. Um, Gail says, I've got the name Malcolm in the last bit with the groans. Okay, we certainly had some groans there. Um, what else are you guys picking up on for, for this particular location? Let me know how you feel. Let me know what you're, what you're sensing here. This is a prison that um, has been active for a very long time until, I think, about five years ago. So actually within recent... Uh, within recent memory and, and in quite recent use, but going back quite a long way. Now, I pick up stuff on this land, so when you're picking up on energies, when you're sensing energies of locations, you don't just look at the building, you look at the energy of the land that the building is, is on. So um, for me, looking at this piece of land, the idea of justice, the idea of punishment has been here for hundreds and hundreds of years. It goes back a very, very long time. So we're looking at a long time period. Um, so we're just going to be, uh, be tuning into as many of those energies as we possibly can tonight and hopefully giving them a voice, getting them um, talking to us and getting them to communicate with us and let us know. Let, let them tell us their story of why they're here, why their energy is still here and what they want to say. Um, so really we're giving, giving the spirits a voice. That's what this is all about really um, from my point of view. From other people's points of view, um, the guests on the events, they, they might be here to look at the history. They might be here to open up their ability to communicate with spirits. They might just want to sense energies um, to, to feel the um, energy of a location, that sort of thing. So, you know, we have guests that book onto these types of events for lots of different reasons, um, and it is, it's great to see the guests. Some people are just curious, some people just kind of think, oh, you know, I'm a skeptic, but I'm open-minded and I'd like to know more. Um, we get a lot of people that, that come from that 
frame of mind as well. So my job tonight is to help the guests to communicate with the spirits that are here, the energies that are here, and to help the guests sense energies, to pick up on residual energy from the past, um, that sort of thing as well. Um, with, with my background in um, Kabbalah, um, for me, it's about energy, it's about sensing energy, um, but helping the guests to do that in a safe way um, and making sure that everybody is safe on the event, that nobody's getting um, affected by the spirits in any way, that everybody is, is absolutely safe and, and having a good time and enjoying it, um, and just for the experience as well. So let's have a look. Smuggling of people, that's an interesting one. Um, Lee says, watch your backs. I feel as if there are some playful spirits there. I'm sure there are. Um, the last time I was here, we did table tipping, which is a, a, a way to communicate with the spirits. Um, and the guests had their hands on the table, and the table that we were using lifted off the ground. It's like there was a cushion of air underneath it. The table lifted off the ground but stayed horizontal and shot down the corridor. Absolutely, just people had to run to keep up with it. Um, and that is really, really strong, um, interesting paranormal activity that's not something that you can fake. It's not something that, you know, nobody was lifting the table. Everybody's hands were on top. Um, and that's just one of those things that, that we've experienced here. In the past, what else have we got? Case of slavery. Lisa, rape, murder, witches, just a horrible feeling. Yeah, horrible combination there. Rachel says, last time I was there for an investigation, the negative energy on that part you were in was crazy. Hope you all have a good night and lots of activity. Thank you so much. Um, loneliness and sadness, Craig, yeah. Definitely, definitely picking up on the loneliness and the sadness here. Um, so thank you so much, guys, for watching. We are... Well, hang on, Gavin says, why prisons? Okay, not always prisons. Um, we visit lots of different locations to do these events. Um, we do go to a lot of prisons, actually. It's, it's kind of weird. I'm at Shepton Mallet Prison next weekend, um, next Saturday with spectacular events. So I'll try to do another live um, next Saturday as well. Um, prisons have a lot of energy in them. They have a lot of spirits that feel still trapped in the prison. Um, so that's why we tend to get a lot of activity at prisons. We also do castles, we do mansion houses, we do tunnels, we do um, anywhere that's got a report of paranormal activity. Those are the types of places that we investigate. So um, <laughs> everybody's saying stay safe. Thank you so much, guys. I'm going to leave you um, to, to welcome the guests in now. And I hope to see you folks on one of the events soon. So if you would like to book one of these events, you can visit dusktilldawnevents.co.uk. Have a look at some of the locations that are available to investigate. Come and join us. We're here to talk to the spirits, to find out why they're here, to hear their story, to hear what they want to tell us and to give them a voice. That is the purpose of tonight's investigation. Um, not so much to prove that spirits exist. That's kind of gone. That's kind of gone away back. Um, you know, uh, other people have been doing that for a very, very long time. Our point of view is to say, okay, let's listen to them. Let's listen to the spirits. Listen to what they've got to say, um, and gather the evidence that way. So we use equipment on our events, um, but we also use our own bodies and our own abilities as well. A combination of the two to get the evidence and to build the evidence up. So thank you very much for watching guys um hope to see you next week and you take care bye